welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to find a giant Kirin game from six different leagues. Goal of this video is to find giant Kirin game, which is defined by a lower ranked team unexpectedly won against a higher ranked team and create a table of the game. So features, first of all, I'm gonna collect the data, then compute accumulated points from the data. After that, compute ranking from accumulated points, find a giant killing game, finally create a game table. I'm gonna show you how to do those by using MATLAB, so let's go to MATLAB. Okay, MATLAB. First of all, I'm gonna collect the data. I'm gonna use a website called Football Data. This website provides you a lot of data about Premier League, Bundesliga. What you have to do is select country, for example, England. It gives you all data about Premier League and you select the season. In this video, I'm gonna use season 2019 and 2020. What you have to do is click the data, download it, and you can import it data into Matra. But in this time, I'm gonna do a little bit different. So I'm gonna use a function called website. This function saves the data from website. First input argument is name of the data. I mean, it could be whatever, whatever you want, anything you want. And then second input argument is URL of the data. So for Premier League right here, I'm just gonna click here with right. I'm gonna select copy link address and I'm gonna copy link. Then I just paste it here. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for different countries, Germany, Scotland, Italy, Spain, France. You can choose whatever you want, but I just chose those six countries. Then if I run this, I'm gonna save all data with this defined name. So I already did it, so I already have data right here. Then I'm gonna import data into workspace, which is right here, by using function called read table. So if I run this, I get all data with table format. In So for Premier League, the dimension is 380 times 106, which means there are 380 rows and 106 columns. So represent each game and each column represent each variable. In this video, I'm gonna use home team, away team, and FTL. Then I imported the data. So let's do next step, which is find or compute accumulated points. Okay, so the second step is finding accumulated points. The data doesn't have accumulated points or ranking, so I have to calculate it manually. So first line is com just to combine all tables which I created right here with struct format. So reason why I'm using struct format is because each table has different dimension. So table doesn't work, matrix doesn't work, cell array work, but I think struct is common way to save data with different dimensions and I just created a name variables right here and I put just name of the countries it could be whatever but for easy analysis later on I just put name of the country in alphabetic order then I created three for loops first for loop is country by country which means that the first loop is about England second loop is about France and so on so J goes from 1 to 6 and start from team's variable right here. So this line extracts the data about team's name in the specific read. So get field function is to extract the data from struct. You just put name of the variable with struct format, which is read. I just created right here. And the second input variable is name of the field. So I created the struct with name england france corresponding to the name right here england england france france germany germany so if i put name right here with variable j so for example the is league and england and this get field function extract the table basically right here i put dot function right here to specific column and i defined home team because i want all teams it could be our team as well, but I just put home team to extract all teams and the function just remove the overlaps. So even there are some overlaps like Liverpool, Liverpool, Arsenal, Arsenal, Chelsea, Chelsea. It just counts two Liverpools as one. So teams should have 20 teams inside because there are 20 teams in Premier League. Then this second line just makes sure 
all teams start from point zero. And the second folder is game by game. So I start from 1 to 380 because there are 380 games in Premier League in this season. Then the third folder is team. So K goes from 1 to 20. As I said, there are 20 teams in total. League. And there are if statements. So let's take a look at the first if statement. So star comp function computes two different variables or value inside of variables. So like I said, get field function extract the data from struct, which is legal right here. And uh, I put name of the field, then dot function, same home team. And this counter variable i, which is right here, extract the data in the first game in the home team. At Liverpool, let's take a look at yes. So home team in the first game is Liverpool. Then star comp function finds Liverpool inside the teams right here. Then the counter variable k just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going until this finds Liverpool. Then maybe, I don't know, three times, four times, looping, 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 finally find a Liverpool. And if it's true, or if Liverpool and Liverpool goes to another star comp function, and then this time compares whatever value, but dot FTL full time result with capital H. So FTL is full time result and H means home team won the game. So for the Liverpool example, Liverpool won the game in the home, then Liverpool accumulated three points or gained three points. And basically do the same thing for away in the second if statement and do the same thing for the tie and do the same thing for tie home and away in the third and fourth if statement respectively then calculate all points in the in the first game basically so points have 20 different values because there are 20 teams in premier league in this season then the values here and create a table with teams value or variable then save it to rank variable here by points in deciding order so team a team which has the highest point goes to the top of the table and rank table is right here is saved into rank season and i just created the one space just in front of the first game table then i put one new table which is just point zero for all teams then rank season is saved into variable called league season and league season should have six cells and each cell represents each league then i reset team and rank season so i'm gonna run this and you will see what i mean okay let's, so let's take a look at the league season so the first cell is england and this is all table so the first table should be the first game so all teams have point zero and if you go to the last last table you get the final ranking or final points table right here so we can find ranking table in the next step okay the third step is calculating ranking from accumulated points so what i want to do here is basically just add one column into this table like ranking and another column and uh, what i want to make sure is if there there is a tie for example Arsenal and Aston Villa have same points let's say six six and the second or the third team has let's say four in the case six six four so I want to have ranking like Arsenal one Aston Villa one and the next team should be three because there is a tie front of the third team so this team should have ranking of Three. I don't want to do Arsenal is 1, Aston Beer is 2 because it's basically tie but this is just the alphabetic order and nothing to do with accumulated points so I cannot use index so I'm gonna find ranking by calculating accumulated points manually basically so let's do it so first of all I'm gonna define counter variable with just form A and there are long four loops so basically the first four loops is just a league by league or country by country so there are six countries in total so j just goes from one to six and i'm gonna save the first league in here called league tab then second four loop goes from game one to game whatever for the premier league it's 
380 games in total, so I go from 1 to 380. Then save the data into season. So let's say this tab 1, which I just created right here, is game 1 for the Premier League, and save it to right here. And the third for loop, it goes from team by team. So there are 20 teams in total, so K goes from 1 to 20. And I just put minus 1 here because I'm gonna compare the team 1 and team 1 after. But basically, it goes 1 to 20. Then I'm gonna save the point data, all point data, by using dot function. So I'm just gonna put season dot and I just extract all data in column called point. And I save it into a variable called game. And I'm gonna compare the point the first team and the point in the second team in the table so table is just alphabetic order at the beginning so it doesn't create any difference in the ranking so it is just save a which is just one and it doesn't go to here but like from the second game it goes to this statement or else statement and the counter variable a increases by 1 plus k, k is counter variable which is right here this one represents actually the index of the table then save different values in k plus 1 reason why I put k plus 1 here is because I'm gonna later on put just 1 here because the first team in the first of the table is always 1 because the first team is the basically ranking 1 all the time so I'm just gonna put 1 here then if there is a tie A doesn't change but if there is a difference between team and team after if statement goes to here and uh, the counter variable changes just index plus 1 and uh, the value is saved in whatever k plus 1 position then I'm gonna add the ranking variable which just after looping 20 times and basically ranking value variable has 20 different values because there are 20 teams in the premier league for example then i'm, I'm just gonna add the ranking to here to existing table here league season then i'm gonna reset counter variable to one and i'm gonna reset ranking and just make it empty then do the same thing game season big tab which i just created right here i just make them empty then if i run this let's take a look at the premier league again there are 20 times 3 table instead of 20 times 2 table so if i look at the, one of the tables i have ranking table so as i said before liverpool won the first game so they gained the point 3 then ranking is obviously 1 but like rest of the teams still their points so they are all second ranking then I got accumulated points and the ranking table then we can find the giant killing which is the next step okay the next step is finding giant killing games so the first line is just a counter variable and uh, I use two four loops in total and the first and the first four loop is country by country so j goes from one to six because there are only six countries i defined then the same thing i'm just gonna extract the data or like save league table into variable called league tab and it goes to the second four loop i goes from one to whatever games in the league and actually minus one because if you remember i created one extra table before the first game which all teams have point zero then i'm just gonna delete the last table which is final ranking or final point table because uh, the table doesn't do anything so later on what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna compare ranking of points in home team and away team and find which one's lower and which one's higher ranked then final ranking of points table do not do anything because it's just a final result and a normal games after that so that's why I just put minus one right here. Then in the second for loop, I'm gonna extract the data from struct by using get field function and the same thing for the away. So for example, Premier League, the first game in home team is I think Liverpool and the away is Norwich. Then the Liverpool is saved in home here and the Norwich is saved in 
I'll wait right here. Then I'm gonna extract I'm gonna ex extract the values in table with this team. So the first table is just all teams in Premier League in alphabetic order because there are just point zero for all teams. So this team variable only or it just has 20 teams in alphabetic order. Then I'm gonna kind of do same thing. I'm gonna extract values in column called from the table and point. I'm gonna save it into variable called ranking and point respectively. Then by using those variables, home, away, team, ranking, points, I'm gonna find the value corresponding to home, away in terms of ranking and points separately. So what I'm gonna do is just use find function. It just find the index if the team variable which just created right here matches with home, which is Liverpool for example in the first loop. Then if the Liverpool is in let's say third index in this variable, then find function return three as an index and uh, ranking in the index which is zero in the first loop because all teams have zero points and the value zero is saved into home ranking then do the same thing for the way and the point is the same same principle then by using those four variables containing different values in each i'm gonna create two different thresholds so first threshold is comparing ranking between home and away and the difference in terms of ranking between home and away is more than whatever number of teams divided by three reason why i didn't put fixed value like let's say the difference is more than five or six or seven or whatever i can put fixed value but you know each league has different number of teams for example premier league there are 20 teams but there are only 18 teams i guess and scottish Premier League, there are only 12 teams. So fixed value changes context of meaning of difference of five in terms of ranking or six in terms of ranking. It changes the context. So that's why I created this changeable threshold rather than fixed value. So for example, there are 20 teams in Premier League. So 20 divided by three, so it's about six. So the ranking difference is more than six is the threshold is satisfied but for the scottish premier league 12 teams 12 divided by 3 difference just needs to be 4 instead of 6 so that's what i mean right here then the second threshold is about points so if there if there is a difference between home and away in terms of points and uh, if it's more than 12 points which is four games because each team can get the points maximum three so four four game points difference then the second threshold is satisfied and if two thresholds are met it goes to another if statement and this one just to make sure the home team won the game because the FTL is full time result and the full time result is eight it means home team won the game so I just set up home team is lower ranked and lower points compared to away team then home team won the game it's giant killing so i'm just gonna save the index which is i right here so i here game by game so i'm gonna basically refer in the game to index which is i and i'm gonna save it right here and the counter variable a i just created right here and it goes from one to two two to three three to four each time this if statement is satisfied and basically do the same thing for the for the case away team did giant killing then all indices are saved into variable called index and the index goes here then whatever values inside are into variable called gk which is giant killing and save country by country so i'm gonna reset everything so counter variable starts from one again and all variables which I created right here become entity right here. Then if I run this, I get GK, giant killing. Then this is all in indices which giant killing happens. So if I go to 133 index, 
in Premier League because this is the first cell. I can find. I should find the end game. So 133. So game is Chelsea against West Ham, and it looks like Chelsea is higher ranked and uh, has higher points compared to West Ham. Then game is away one, which. West Ham won against and I think this is giant killing because everyone expected Chelsea to win in this game but West Ham won. So I found giant killing games. I mean I just corrected indices which giant killing happened. Then what I'm gonna do next is create a table. Okay the last step is creating table so I'm gonna just create variable name which is home away full time result points for home points for away ranking for home ranking for away so those are variables i'm gonna extract by using indices i just found in previous steps so first of all again i'm gonna use for loop this for loop goes from one to six because there are six countries or six leagues in total and i'm gonna extract the table by using struct right here league and the name defined a couple steps ago it starts from england to spain in alphabetic order so first loop get field function extract a table about england and the second right here country extract the data in league season so this variable saves all data about team point accumulated points and ranking in table format so I'm just gonna extract the first league, which is Premier League, and save it into country right here. And the GK, Giant Killing, so I'm gonna extract all indices in Premier League, so, and save it into variable called I. And there is a second for loop, and this one goes from 1 to whatever Giant Killing games there are in the, the league. So first, first loop is Premier League and i think there are 18 giant killing games so it goes from 1 to 18 then by using the index here i i'm gonna find team name by using dot function and uh, away team name final time result and uh, i'm gonna extract specific table by using this index and uh, again the table has three columns with the team point ranking and uh, i'm gonna extract all team all points all ranking in the table and save it to team points and ranking respectively and by using home away and uh, those variables team points and ranking i'm gonna find point and ranking separately again i'm gonna use find function and uh, output index if the team here matches with team right here so based on the all teams in the table i'm gonna find team home team one by one basically so if the home team here is liverpool i'm gonna find liverpool inside of the table right here and return index then by using the index i'm gonna find the points so let's say liverpool is in the third index in the table right here find the function return 3 and uh, here point find the value in the third index then the value is saved into point home and basically the same thing for away point and uh, ranking home and ranking away then all necessary values are saved in each variable right here home away fpl point home points away ranking home ranking away which i define here variable name home away fdr point home points away ranking home ranking away then i'm gonna reset point ranking team which i created right here then i'm gonna create a table just to input the variables i created home away fdr point home points away ranking home ranking away and the variables name is a bar name which I created right here. Then I'm gonna save the table into ZK tab, which is giant killing table. And counter variable is I. And uh, if you remember, I just goes from one to six. I mean, from England to Spain. So the first table, first index should be table about England. 
Then I'm gonna reset everything right here and go to the second loop, which is France. And I'll do the same thing and go to the third loop, which is Germany, and so on, so on. And if I run this, I get table right here, and you will see all games. So each row represents each game, and uh, yes, so those the giant king games. So Chelsea, West Ham, and West Ham won the game and the points Chelsea had 26 and West Ham just had 13 points and ranking Chelsea was in the 4th place but West Ham was in 17th place but West Ham won so you can say this is giant killing and uh, yeah so basically this is the uh, old table about Premier League and I just corrected the giant killing game and uh, this is customizable so if you if you don't like the threshold right here you can just manipulate maybe the difference should be more than 10 or 5 or 6 whatever and the same for the points and also you can just update url you don't really have to go to the website again because there is a certain do about extracting the data so i just extracted data season 2019 and 2020 so if you just change here it it uh, it saves different table for example if i want maybe 2018 and 19 i'm just gonna change it here 18 and 19 and uh, it gives you bundesliga season 2018 and 19 so you just change here then you don't really have to go to the website click it download it import it matter no you don't really have to you just need to update this value here and just press one bottom and the table is updated all the time so pretty much that's it i'm gonna post this matlab code on my blog so you can download it you can just play around you can run from it maybe so it's for you and thank you for watching my video and see you next time